strap, PPGPS, leg strap one, leg strap two. Lots of Coca-Cola gives you really bad teeth. Legs, chest, chin, gas, risers, brakes, trims. It all looks different with this big bloody case on my chest. Clip up! Thanks, mate. All right, let go. I'm just going to give it a bit of a... Get up. <laughs> Forgot to turn on my engine. Oh, well. That's so tall, look at that. Well, you probably can't see it. I thought it'd be really bumpy, but it's not too bad. Well, I don't know. Maybe this is really bad. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna feel properly a little bit. Hey, I see the sea, I think. Oh, no, it can't be. Might be, yeah, it is. The altitude, 820. Ground speed, 20, wow. Oh, this is nice, right. Phone, phone the missus, let her know I'm safe. Right, for some reason, I don't know if you can hear me, Den, but everything's fine, I'm flying along. You can watch me, uh, but I can't hear you. I don't know if I've not done something. I set it all up earlier, but uh, for some reason I'm not connecting Bluetooth-wise. But it's beautiful, and you can follow my dot. Well, I've never been so scared in my entire life. Like, not... I've been scared like, for short bursts when something scary's happened, but persistently scared for two days when it rising and rising and rising. My heart rate going up, my blood pressure must have been shit. I've had less coffee today, probably, than I normally would. Good, sir. I figured it was a bad idea. Um, but when people started taking off, that, I was fine. I started calming down. I saw about maybe a dozen or so take off when I got my gear ready. Trying to get a bit of altitude so I don't get in any rotor from Glasgow Tour, which hopefully you can see there. Launch was alright, got to turn on my engine. <laughs> and so I got the wing up and then thought, oh, better turn this on. And then um, i trying to remember what I did wrong. Yeah, I sort of went in a bit early with a bit too much brake. I don't know why I did that, so I let off the brakes accelerated and then braked again but try not to do that next time. Last debris. Oh it's beautiful. Bumpy though we yep. That's I'm going up fast. It's a big thermal that one. Compared with what I'm used to. Just gone up to nearly a thousand feet. Glastonbury Look at you, Glastonbury! Where's that furry muff? Put my hands in furry muff. Ah, oh, there we go. Plenty of height, not breaking any rules.
the old strip farming lines there from back in the day when Glastonbury was um, not a festival. When the pagans were pagans and actually lived here. Actually, no, it's a bit after that. I'm going to shut up, I don't know enough history. That's the retour. Bit of ridge lift. Okay, time for some serious now for now. Better go round this town. Oh, so gorgeous. Hands are a bit cold. See two countries. <laughs> no idea if that's recording or not. Anyway, bugger it. Seat board in. Looks like somebody else is there. Two people. Maybe three. Bit choppy but boppy down here. your company at the uh, the first fuel stop, or at least the first one for us four, so you've got Rob here, Andy Beck's there, and a guy called Jules over there who I've met for the first time today. Um, they all got here before me, but they all launched before me. It's taken about two and a half hours for everyone to get here, which is uh, ridiculous for how far it is. Well, yes, yeah, about 40 miles, 35 miles, yeah, that's uh, quite a long time, but a lot of headwind, and um, the conditions initially were Bloody bumpy. Oh. Go, 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 Rob! Go, oh, oh, oh. Low wind launcher should be fun with all that kit. Gonna have to try it. Well, should be alright. Icarus X 2019. Living the dream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Jules. got a snap line that got caught in the prop at launch. Now I did bring a spare line with me but obviously I'm not going to fix it before <laughs> before sunset. It's already gone behind that hill there. Game over. Player one, you have been retired. Player 26. 
tapes, maybe. Um, <laughs> work it out, work it out. That lot, they're here. Yeah, there we go. Right, so what have we lost? Okay, that might be... That's probably fixable. Minehead it is for the night. Um, I've got uh, can't go anywhere, so oh, lots and lots of little bitey things all flying around. And maybe I'll get bitten to death. I'll go. And I'm going to try and put up a tent <laughs> hidden away behind a massive pile of I don't know what that is earth over there. Um, it's Saturday tomorrow, so I'm hoping no one will turn up, or if they do, that I'll be packed away and either gone or ready to go by the time they do. Right. Um, <sighs> dramas, drums. Um, I mean, I'm going to be sorted for for being able to buy anything I need. So, Brewers Fair, Premier Inn, Tesco's, Ronald McDonald's, probably a whole load more stuff. Looks like a nice town actually, uh, apart from maybe the McDonald's. Not so sure about that. Um, <sighs> But if I have to eat McDonald's, I have to eat. I've got my little camping meals, but I'm so near everything and I'm hidden away here. So I don't think my stuff's going to get nicked. <laughs> Who'd want to nick <laughs> a 12 year old paramotor and wing with a broken line? Maybe someone would. Uh, right. So this is where bed for the night is going to be. I'm going to hide out the way in here just so that if. Uh, be a shocker. I've damaged the prop a little bit. I mean, that's totally mendable, but and it's totally flyable. Um, it, I'm going to lose a little bit of power. I don't know what's happening with my charging. My new phone doesn't seem to take charge off this system, but everything else does. I hope I haven't broken it. Right, it's more to, more, more to camouflage than anything. It'll keep it dry which is nice when I'm getting in it in the morning, but more importantly, it's camouflage. <laughs> Looks like we've got company. I don't know who it is. That's exciting. A friend. Friend. <sighs> friend. friend. Oh, you're naughty. Over here. Right, he's trying to lose a bit of height, zigzagging, so he can get onto this field. Wind's coming from behind me, so he's zigzagging. Oh, cool. Well, actually, no, it's coming from behind me over, over that way, not that way. Uh, anyway, we'll see how he lands. It'll be a couple of minutes till he lands. Here he comes. I wonder who it is. Nice landing. <laughs> we got stuck in a field on after refueling. All right. Um, the tandem boys, and they said, "Dicky, go ahead to mine it or something, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll catch a lift or something." You know. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, thanks for being there. Yeah. <laughs> where, where are you guys staying? I've got a tent behind that pile over there. Oh, have you? Yeah. Cracking, I've just started putting it up. Oh, so, oh, uh, but there's plenty of. Uh, the other guys there as well, are they? No, they've they've all flown on. They wanted to get to the checkpoint, the checkpoint. Oh, right, and camp okay. there. So um, I was disappointed because I thought I'll have no friends. But you're. <laughs> well, that's why you're looking at. You're thinking I must have some reason to stay and spend the night with. <laughs> 